CCC, Command Corrects Condition. That's how your car's fuel injection system works. And you know, the oxygen sensor, well, he has the final say. Welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip. It's all about the oxygen sensor and how are we gonna keep it clean? How does an oxygen sensor work? Well, it's that CCC, Command Corrects Condition, I said. What's going on is the oxygen sensor. Well, that's the actual command. That's what's going on in the exhaust. If you go around to the computer, it's either going to increase or decrease the volume of the injector. That's the actual command. So it commands them to go lean. The oxygen sensor says, hey, we're lean. Commands it to go rich. The oxygen sensor says we're rich and it just keeps shifting back and forth. Where is it located? Well, you can see it right there in the exhaust. You could have multiple oxygen sensors. I said it works with sensing oxygen. That's what it is, or a lack of oxygen. It doesn't sniff fuel. There's 21% oxygen in the outside atmosphere, so if you have 18 in the exhaust, well, your electrons are not much different. So you're not producing a lot of voltage. So that's low voltage. That's gonna be a lean condition. Over here, you have 21% oxygen in the outside atmosphere and only 10% in the exhaust. Well, that means you got a lot of fuel in the exhaust, so that's a rich condition. And you can see the electrons are a lot more different. It's a lot more pressure. It's gonna make that voltage. You can see there on the top, it's going from high voltage to low voltage. It's crossing that threshold and it's doing it quickly. That's a good oxygen sensor. If it stayed down in the low voltage too long, it's lean. If it stayed up in the high voltage too long, it's rich. And then if it didn't fluctuate at all, well, that's a problem. It's just kind of broken. It's not doing anything. We actually scan one for you so you can see it right here. You can see the one on the right. It's going up and down. The max is 955 millivolts. The low is 117 millivolts. So it's crossing that threshold. And then the one over there on the left, well, that's the actual post cat. And it's just fluctuating a little bit from 600 to about 400, staying pretty close there. You don't have a lot of fluctuation going on. Now you can have some problems with your oxygen sensor. These are problems, lead poisoning. That means you have some leaded fuel in there, not a good thing. Rich air fuel mixture, it's gonna be black and sooty. Ethylene glycol or antifreeze contaminate or silicone poisoning if you use the wrong RTV, room temperature vulcanizers. You can damage these things. Man, these things are heavy hitters, man. When it comes to fuel delivery, we have to keep them clean. Amsoil does just that. Yeah, we've got additive that helps your combustion process, and ultimately these sensors are seeing the combustion process, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, and we want to do everything that we can to keep the combustion process perfect. So that means keeping the injector spray patterns nice and efficient, keeping the deposits from forming, making sure that those cylinders are sealed as well as they possibly can so you're burning all the fuel and all the air, and the only thing that's going out is waste. Keeps that oxygen sensor nice and clean. So we've got several different types of fuel additives. You could dose it every single tank. We have additives where you could just hit it once every 4,000 miles. Depends on your preference. The main thing is that you're using some type of a cleaner. Absolutely. To make sure your O2 sensors operate properly along with your entire vehicle, just go to amsoil.com.